Excellent, and I absolutely love your arc this season and what's been teased about it. What can you talk about this new, this new role and the challenges or the excitement that's been created by getting to play this out? Right. Um, some interesting challenges in season two. Less dialogue, more physicality, um, and uh, working with a different group of actors this season, which was really interesting and a ton of fun. And when you see tonight's episode and, and the second episode, you'll understand better what I'm talking about. But I'm really excited for people to see how much fun we had. It, is Kelly's goal still her son, or does she have other motives this season? She's very singular in her focus. When the season starts out, it's it's all about Zach. And the master has bestowed upon her some special abilities and let her on a, out on a very long leash to do both his bidding and her own. And it's all about Zach, and she will stop at nothing to find him. She has some assistance along the way. I was going to say that. I was speaking with Richard earlier, and he mentioned a little Bonnie and Clyde aspect. I love that analogy that he uses and how lucky am I to be Bonnie, to Ichorus Clyde. I mean, he's one of my favorite characters in the show, and um, I did get to spend a little time with him this season, which was a dream of mine in season one. There's also some physical challenges to the role this year, more so than last year. What can you talk about, like, the training? or Because I'm guessing it was pretty intense. I hurt myself a little bit. I, I took various movement classes and a physical theater workshop, and I took some Muay Thai, and just knowing what it might feel like to be be able to inflict pain while just standing still, you know, and she also has some, as I said, some assistants who do her bidding, but trying to feel a little bit more foreboding because I'm a pretty harmless person normally, um, and just being, having a more of like visceral approach to performing was really great. I didn't have to think as much about dialogue this season, and I just got to focus on other things that I really enjoyed. Is F in her, like, periphery at all right now is he does he mean anything to her in her current state I think he's in the way he's definitely in the way this is the custody battle that never ends you know yeah